While Olivia Colman has warmed many of our hearts with her sense of humor and made us love her even more for never taking herself too seriously, we can't help but want to know more. The award-winning actress isn't one to speak much about her personal life, so we decided to do some digging to find out about Olivia's two-decade-long marriage to her husband, actor and writer Ed Sinclair, and their life together with their three children. From stalking her future husband and how she finally was able to win his heart, here's everything you need to know about Olivia and Ed's sweet romance. In this day and age of constant access to news, scandals, and endless information, sometimes it can come as a surprise when celebrities don't share their personal lives with the public. However, when it comes to Olivia and Ed's love story, less information means more for them to cherish and keep for themselves. Like his wife Olivia, Ed has a career in the acting world as an actor and writer. Ed starred in the BBC TV series Look Around You, playing the part of Michael the Butler. Coleman opened up in an interview and shared a rare insight into how she fell in love with Ed back in the 1990s. She shared, It sounds really odd, but I did fall in love with him at first sight. When we walked into the room, I just went, That's him. Mind you, I suppose if he hadn't wanted me, then I might have gone, That's him, at someone else a week later. When Olivia was introduced to her future husband, they were both rehearsing for a production of Table Manners at Cambridge. She and Ed were both studying at Cambridge University at the time. The moment she saw him, she thought, there's the bloke I'm going to marry. She added, a bit weird, I know, but yes, he was gorgeous, the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I stuck with him and made him realize he could only be happy with me. At first, the pair started off just as friends, but Olivia knew she wanted to be more than that. So she did everything she could to make Ed fall in love with her. Coleman spent six weeks memorizing the lyrics to the songs he liked in his timetable before professing her love for him through a mutual friend. She confessed, But I sort of stalked him, which I don't condone. I don't know, though it does seem to have worked. It did work in our case. I remind him every day that he is a very lucky man. Olivia admitted that she would take three hours to get dressed every day and that Ed seemed completely unaware of what was going on. When she realized that all of her hard work might have gone unnoticed, she simply decided to take fate into her own hands. She explained, I really gave him no choice. To begin with, I think he was completely bamboozled by the whole thing. He kept wondering why this jolly, smiley person kept turning and laughing hysterically at everything he did. Coleman added, Eventually, I just told his friend to tell him I loved him, and eventually, his friend did. It seemed like all of her efforts and stocking paid off. The couple got married in 2001, and since then they've gone through a lot of changes in their lives. Ed struggled to decide what he wanted to do with his life, and after dabbling in acting, he went on to study law before he settled on becoming a writer. Olivia shared, We were 20, and he was also an actor. If you meet at that age, then you're fine. For me, it was Thunderbolt straight away. My husband and I were very lucky. We met when we had nothing, and we loved each other then, so we were alright. Following the release of the series Landscapers, written by Ed and starring Olivia, alongside David Thewlis, the actress explained how she and her husband work when collaborating on projects. She said, We worked out very early on that it's much better if he's a writer or I'm an actor and we don't talk about it. Olivia and Ed have always respected each other's work, but sometimes they don't always agree on the same things. So when it came to working together, they made their own rules so that they wouldn't have to butt heads along the way. However, it did take a while for them to figure out that it was better for them not to speak about work when they were paired on the same project. Coleman explained, He tried to give me a note once, which went down like a cup of cold sick. When she was asked if she thought about turning down the role in Landscapers to avoid working with her husband, Olivia responded, No, can you imagine if I'd said no to Ed's six years of work? I really wanted to do it and would have kicked up a storm if it had gone to anyone else. After that, the couple agreed to keep work separate from their marriage in order to make things easier. So, even when they've had to collaborate on projects together when it comes to giving feedback, they choose to keep their opinions to themselves, and we commend them for that. It makes sense, since working in the same industry can certainly come with its fair share of different opinions. On the other hand, one thing that Olivia and Ed do agree on is keeping their three children away from the spotlight. The couple is fiercely private about their children. They welcomed their first child, a son named Finn, in 2005. Finn became a big brother when Coleman and Sinclair welcomed their second son, Hall, two years later. Their family has always been a priority over their life in the spotlight. So much so that when Olivia won her first BAFTA for her role in Broadchurch in 2014, she and Ed left immediately after to get back home to their two boys. Olivia shared, We were in our socks, drinking tea by 10 o'clock. I couldn't take it all in. As long as I have Ed and the boys, everything is alright. Being alone with her beloved husband and children were more important than staying for the rest of the award ceremony. She wanted to celebrate that moment with her nearest and dearest, and that makes us love her even more. 
In 2015, Coleman was pregnant for the third time while she was also working on the British mystery series The Night Manager. Working while pregnant turned out to be quite challenging for the actress as she opened up about the experience. I just can't retain my lines like I normally would. I've got a bit of nappy brain going on. Olivia welcomed her third child, a daughter, later that year, but never revealed her name to the public. While she's never been very open about sharing the intimate details of their family life, the actress did share that Ed had built a treehouse for their children. Just as Olivia has kept part of her life away from the spotlight, she also admitted to keeping a secret from her husband. The actress revealed that she didn't tell Ed that she had gotten Botox for almost six months. Coleman was very open about having Botox done and she loved it, but only had it done when there was a big gap between roles. She explained how she managed to keep the anti-wrinkle booster under wraps from Ed, saying, I didn't tell my husband, and then for about six months he kept saying, Hello, pretty. After her husband continued to shower compliments on her, she admitted she'd had Botox, and he found it hilarious. Ed was also incredibly supportive of Olivia after she tragically lost her father in 2020. The actress wept on stage as she collected her Emmy Award for her portrayal of the Queen in Netflix's The Crown. She said, I'm going to be very quick because I'm very teary. I, my, I wish my dad was here to see this. So, I lost my daddy during COVID and um, he would have loved all of this. Coleman also confessed that her private life at home with her husband and their three children had become something of a sanctuary amid the weird world of showbiz. While Olivia and Ed have always been intensely private about their family, they've been married for over 20 years and couldn't be happier. Life in the glaring spotlight of Hollywood isn't for everyone, and we don't blame those celebrities that chose to keep their personal lives separate from their work. All that matters is that Olivia and her husband are blissfully happy together and are enjoying their time being parents when they're not working hard and winning awards. We wish Olivia only the best for their future, and there's no doubt that she and Ed will be together for decades and more to come. Be well and be kind.